Hello everyone, welcome to my beginner's yoga class. Today we're going to start with something very simple. Test. Oh my god, what the f is that? I, th I think Wish sent some bugs in my packages. What's up everybody? We're back with another video and today is a very special video because it's a highly requested free Wish gear part dose. And if you don't know what dose means, it's Spanish for two. Yes, I have gotten more free gear. As you can see, I order a ton of stuff from Wish. And like last time, the shirt and the shorts weren't free because again, I didn't want to get arrested for public nudity. And I didn't want to just wear any old Nike shirt. I wanted to go all out, so might as well get a Wish shirt and Wish shorts to go along with it. The shirt is a honeycomb pattern sleeveless dry fit like shirt. I got a large because on the first free Wish gear video, the shirt was actually on the medium side. So I wanted to make sure that this shirt actually fit. You know, I didn't want to show off my muscles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 The back of the shirt package has all these functions for the shirt. A high elastic, perspiration wicking, promotes warm up, breathable, hold shape, and it has comfortable fabric, and it's made in China. The made in China thing might be true. So we're gonna go out and test to see if the other things on the back of this package are true. I mean, there are some spelling errors on the back of here, so you know, we're off to a great start. The shorts are Fear of God basketball inspired looking shorts. Of course, you got the zipper pocket, so if someone tries to reach in on you, they might cut their hands. These shorts were $7 compared to the real Fear of God shorts, which range from $300 to $400. Now onto the free stuff. Starting off, we got the ankle brace. Cause you know when you wear Wish shoes, it's highly likely that you hurt your ankles and damn near break your ankles. Next, we got the red and black Nike Elite looking socks. If you remember in the first gear video, we had the Nike Elite socks, big baller brand collaboration, but the socks were a little bit shorter in length. These are longer. I would say that these are calf socks. Next, we got the compression pants, very similar to the only thing that girls wear in the winter time. It's a lightning pattern on it, and it remains to be seen if it's durable or if it's stretchy or flexible because in the first gear video, you remember that the knee pads actually ripped on the first day of wearing them. Next, we have another shooting sleeve, but this has the Nike Elite pattern stripe on it. So obviously, we're gonna do another shooting test with the sleeve. And last but not least, we got the goggles. And right off the bat, yeah, I'm no goggle expert, but uh, it's not looking too good. And a tiny disclaimer, some of the items that I got aren't free anymore because when I got them, they were free, but I ordered them over a month ago and you know how Wish takes a long time to ship. And by the time they got here, the price has changed, but you can always find free gear, free items on Wish. You just have to look. I'll put the link down below to all the free items. But yeah, man, I got all the free gear from Wish. Let's go to the court and test them out. The shorts, they're a little bit see-through. I'm not gonna lie. But here's the thing, when you buy these shorts, make sure that you're wearing underwear or else your will be exposed. Okay, so as you can see, I got the large, as I said, because the old one fit a little bit medium. And as you can see, it's still a little bit tight. I'm not gonna lie. The goggles, what would you say, Tony? Make me look like Batman, right? Or like Robin? Or ah, dude, you look like a teenage mutant ninja turtle. All right, as you guys know, we're gonna do the shooting test. I'm gonna shoot 10 with the sleeve, 10 without the sleeve. These sleeves are pieces of shit. 
ain't nothing like that natural scoring ability with your skin. Hey Evan, you got some marks on your face. What happens at home stays at home. Absorbance levels. Absorbance rate, 10 out of 10. 10 being a tampon, 1 being not a tampon. There's only one more thing to test out. is the durability and the flexibility of these compression pants. Neil, how do you think we should test that out? Hello everyone, welcome to my beginner's yoga class. Today we're gonna start with something very simple. Okay guys, we're back in the studio. Time to talk about the free gear. I know what you're thinking. I did look like a jack in the gear, but you know, someone's got to test out the gear. And before we begin, remember as always to subscribe to the channel, press the bell next to it so you get a notification every time I drop a new video and follow me on Instagram, of course. And now let's get into the video. Starting off with the shirt. Like I said, I got a large because I wanted to make sure it fit and it wasn't too tight and it did fit in fact. It was a little weird looking because of the pattern on the shirt and also it being no sleeves because that's not really my style. This pattern actually makes it look like you got some sort of nasty disease. I would say you got to be ripped like Dwight Howard to wear this shirt. But the head area is really hard to stick your head through the hole. But um, <laughs> that was a dirty joke. Let's go over each thing it said it would do on the back of the bag that the shirt came in. High elastic. The material in general doesn't stretch out as much as I would like. It's a little bit stiff. Wasn't stretchy, so that's a no for me. Breathable, I would say it worked for me. Perspiration wicking, you couldn't see it because the shirt is dark, but the shirt did not wick the sweat. It just kind of stayed wet the whole time. Holding shape, I mean, it was stiff and the holes were tight. The collar didn't get all bent out of shape and stretchy. And you know, when you put on a shirt, it kind of gets stretched out. So I would say it did hold the shape. Promoting Warm up, I'm not quite sure what that means, but since the shirt is made in China, I'm pretty sure they meant stimulating chi or stimulating chakra, which is basically inner energy. That's actually really big in Asian culture. I would say it did not do that because I did not feel my chi or chakra power up. 
and it says it was comfortable. I wouldn't say it was uncomfortable. The only uncomfortable thing about it was the way it was looking with the no sleeves and the pattern, but it is the shirt that I ordered, so I can't penalize it for that. The overall grade I would give the shirt is a 6.4 out of 10. Moving on to the shorts. As I said earlier, it's Fear of God inspired with a drop crotch. Little did I know the crotch is also see-through, so definitely do not go commando with these because people will see your little PP or big PP if that's how you do it. It will be exposed. Personally, I like the length of the shorts being a little bit shorter, but the zippers do not do it for me, and the material is very, very thin. So in the highly likely chance that these rip on you, it's game over. Unless, of course, you got a big PP. The drawstring eyelets aren't metal like the ones on the USA shorts that I got from Wish in the last free Wish gear test. So overall, I would say that the first shorts I got were better than these shorts, as I actually still wear those USA shorts, and these are like a poor man's version of the Fear of God shorts, literally. The shorts rating is a 5.3 out of 10. Moving on to the ankle brace. Honestly, it's like a DIY ankle brace that you could make out of foam that you would get at your local craft store. The biggest finesse of all time. I can't believe I actually paid money for this. You didn't. It was free. Oh, yeah. Even though it was free, it did not protect my ankles like it said it would. It's very, very flimsy. It's just foam. It didn't really do anything but wrap up my heel and ankles. And honestly, it did have a couple of unnecessary straps. And when I first got it, it looked like this. So I was pretty confused on how to put it on. So the ankle brace grade is a one out of 10. Moving on to the socks. The socks look like Nike Elite socks. The bottom part feels and looks more like Under Armour socks. These ones in particular. And it's hard to mess up socks. I say these are definitely better than the hand socks you get at Target. But after you wear them and sweat in them and play basketball in them once, the cushion does get a lot thinner. So that just goes to show you that the durability of these socks might not last you that long. And all jokes aside, I did spill water on it to test out the sock it did absorb it but nobody likes when your socks are wet probably a top five worst feeling in the world is wearing wet socks overall the socks the socks were pretty solid i give it a grade of 6.9 out of 10 69 <laughs> moving on to the compression pants I like the pattern. Next time, I would probably go with a different color because these just kind of look like period pants. But as you saw, these are very stretchy and durable. These did not rip, especially in important areas where it should not rip. Unlike the knee pads I got in the first Wish gear test. Honestly, they wick sweat pretty well. They do have a strong smell of chemicals, so hopefully I don't get a serious disease wearing them. It did mask the smell of sweat and must in the crevices down there, if you know what I'm talking about, after working out and wearing compression pants it can get kind of stinky down there sniff test The pants grade is a 7.9 out of 10. Moving on to the sleeve. Like I said earlier, it's supposed to resemble the Nike Elite sleeve. As far as sleeves go, it does everything a sleeve should do. It wicks sweat and compresses your arm. It has a tight fit so it doesn't fall off. Unfortunately, like the first sleeve I tested out from Wish, which was the white one that you saw earlier on my other arm, the material is very thin. So if someone accidentally were to run their hands through it, there's a good possibility of it ripping. And like you guys saw on the shooting test, I did shoot better without the sleeve, so take that into consideration. But hey, if you're ass at shooting or good at shooting, the sleeve really isn't gonna make the difference. It's only gonna make you look a little bit cooler or a little bit douchier. Sleeve grade is an eight out of 10. Moving on to the goggles. So there is no glass or protective screen on the goggles, so that was a fail. However, someone else told me that these goggles aren't for that purpose, like you see how Horace Grant uses these goggles. These are actually supposed to help you look up when you're dribbling and not look down because it does have blockers down here so you can't look down. And don't get me wrong, it did a great job of that, so if you're gonna use these glasses to improve your ball handling, definitely these are a must cop. But I feel like they could have done better and put some lenses right here, you know, to protect your eyes from getting poked out. And as I was told by several people, I look like an Ninja Turtle with these glasses on. Comment down low which Ninja Turtle I look like. You don't look like a Ninja Turtle, you just look like a dumb Get out! Get out! Goggles rating is a 5.2 out of 10. Ah. Okay, for a recap for all the items that I got from Wish for free, most of the items did their job really well. I would say that the socks, sleeve and pants all stood out in a really good way and the shirt the shorts the ankle brace and the goggles were the worst items ah why do i keep doing that
<laughs> so the overall rating of all the items combined is a 5.8 out of 10. But like I said in the last video, all the items except for the shirt and shorts were all free, so I can't really complain. Let's try this one more time. Ah! Na 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 Batman! Batman! All right, guys, that concludes the video on the testing the free gear part dose. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch the other videos. And, you know, Neil, until next time, we're out. And I was missing those shots on purpose just for all the trolls out there.